If you have an EXT2 file system and you want to convert that file system from EXT2 to EXT3, all you really need to do is add a journal. So let's take a look at our system over here. All right, we have this machine. I have a mount, I can see a bunch of file systems and one of these file systems down here, storage, is EXT2 mounted on SDA. Five. So if I do df minus h, I can see that storage is using up 1% of its space. It is uh, 194 megabytes of space. Once again, it's on this dev SDA5. Once you know where it's mounted, it makes it fairly easy to unmount it, add a journal, um, update some configurations, and then remount it. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I want to unmount it. So you can unmount it with the umount command. So I have a umount, and I can either unmount either the mount point or I can unmount the device. So either one works. So I'll unmount storage with the umount command. Now it's unmounted, and I want to convert it to ext3. So I can use tune2fs minus j dev sda5 and that will take the partition and add a journal to it. Now the journal has been added, now I need to just add it back. Now if this one's in your fs tab file, which mine is, then you'll need to add it to the or update the fs tab file. So let's take a look at that one. If I cat out my etc fs tab file, I can see what I had is this UUID is the device that was being mounted to the storage location as EXT2. If I use BLK ID, I can see that we have right here our UUID, and it looks like it's the same. Um, it says something about EXT2, EXT3. So let's go ahead and, and see what we can do with it. We can also see we have a label right here. And we can see that we have a device name uh, or device as well. So I'll go ahead and edit the file. So nano on the etc fs tab file. And I can go in here and just change it to ext3. Exit out. If I type mount, I can do either do the device or the mount point, sta5, it mounts it. So now I take a look at the mount command by itself, and you can see that it was mounted as ext3. So my device is now mounting correctly as ext3 and everything is working correctly. And that's all you need to do to convert an EXT2 to an EXT3 device.